Hi there. In this business topic video, we're going to take a quick look at another of the main sources of finance for a business. It's called retained profits. Now, don't forget there are a wide variety of different sources of finance for a business and businesses are not restricted to just one or two of them. They can use many of them. When we're thinking about retained profits, we're looking at at a source of finance that is ideal to help finance the long-term activities of the business. Of course, it comes in useful short and medium term as well, but retained profits is very much a long-term source of finance. And also it's an internal source of finance in the sense that retained profits arise from the internal activities of the business. It's not about getting finance from an external party such as a, a bank or a, a venture capital investor. So retained profits is an internal source of finance. And it's also a key long term source as well. You might be wondering, how is profit a source of finance? How can retained profits be a way in which the business can finance its activities? So this uh, brief example just helps explain how it all works. Obviously, it's at a fairly small scale here for the example, but imagine this happening many thousands or millions of times in a business and you can see how retained profits becomes a big source of finance. So in our little example here, we've got a retailer and it's one of those uh, record shops. The retailer has bought some stock of vinyl records and he's paid a hundred thousand pounds for the stock, which gets put into the store. During the next month, the customers come in, they buy their records and he sells that stock for 300 pounds cash, cash going into the till. So he's bought stock for a hundred, he's sold it for 300 pounds in cash which means he's made a profit on that stock of £200,000. That cash profit of £200,000 is then used to continue running the business. So he buys another £100 worth of stock. He's left with £100 and he uses that to pay maybe some or all of the shop wages. So you can see that by making a profit, in this case £200 of cash, that is a source of finance because it enables him to reinvest in the stock and also to pay some of the operating costs of the business. That's how profits are a key source of finance as profits are turned into cash. Key features of retained profits. Uh, firstly, you need to remember that it's, it's, it's the profits that are earned from profitable trading. So over the course of the year, you're looking out for the net profit of the business. The key decision for the business is whether to keep the profits in the business, reinvest them perhaps in some new stock or leave it in cash or whether you pay those profits out as a dividend, some kind of return to the shareholders. So the key thing about profits is, are they kept in the business? In other words, retained, or are they paid out as a return to the owners of the business? What's really great about retained profits is that that, that decision is really in the hands of the business and nobody else. So the shareholders or the owners of the business are in control of this. Retained profits are therefore a very flexible, a highly flexible source of finance. That's not to say though that they don't have a cost. You imagine if you're making a profit you'd say well there's no cost, there's no interest on that. But of course there is a cost which is what else could you do with the money if you didn't leave the business, you didn't leave the retained profits invested in the business. So from a shareholder point of view retained profits do have a cost. It's an opportunity cost, it's the return they could have earned by having the business pay the profits out to them as a dividend. So retained profits are not cost free, but they are highly flexible. So to summarize then the key benefits and potentially the drawbacks of retained profits, we've mentioned the flexibility, the fact that the owners are in control as to what happens with the profits. They are a low cost, but not, not zero cost source of finance and retained profits, particularly in highly profitable businesses can be a very substantial source of finance. The drawback, of course, is the flip side of making a profit. What happens if the business makes a loss? Well, the problem with that is that, that is a drain on the cash flows of the business and therefore additional sources of finance are likely to be needed. And I think from a shareholder point of view, you also have to be careful about hoarding profits, keeping too much profit in the business. Maybe the shareholders would re would prefer uh, a dividend so that they can decide to do with uh, they can decide to do with the retained profits at what they want. Therefore, that's uh, we spent what three or four minutes there just providing you with an overview of one of the key sources of finance, particularly for a profitable business, retained profits.